All right, let's hop right to it tonight. See, I wanted to get right to uh, uh, Kamala Nomics because it's just too good and Trump is just trouncing her. But as usual, something came up, and that is this right here. It's New York Times stuff where the Biden administration is now, lo and behold, now that Joe Biden is no longer running for president, the State Department is now releasing all the information that you and I already know to the New York Times, in other words, that his son was an illegal foreign agent. And, of course, let me just make sure everybody knows, very, very educated audience here at the TLP. But just in case, from foreign agent, I'm not talking about James Mon. I'm talking about FARA, Foreign Agent Registry Act. It is very simple. It is not illegal, except if you don't register as one. Mm-hmm. You are allowed to advocate. You are allowed to uh, do, do basically lobby on behalf of a foreign entity, even possibly a foreign government, as long as you register as a foreign agent. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Barbara Boxer, former senator out of California, is a registered foreign agent, probably for China, if I remember correctly, but I don't remember. So as long as you register, you can be a foreign agent. This is what they absolutely hysterically arrested General Flynn, General Michael Michael Flynn over is being is 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 fair of violations when he was the incoming intel chief. So he was the incoming intelligent, basically uh, intel. I can't remember his title, but I never can for some reason. But anyway, he's come basically coming in as a as the like the head intel chief for the for the Trump administration. So he's calling all around the world, making connections like everybody does whenever you are an incoming administration. That's what the FBI went after him for, was FARA violations. So basically, if Trump gets elected, or let's just say Kamala, I, mean, I know this is gross and everyone just threw up in their mouth. If Kamala gets, arrest, gets, gets arrested, that was a Freudian slip. If Kamala <laughs> gets elected as president, none of her incoming administrative officials can contact anybody in the world now because they'll be charged with FARA violations unless they register as a, as a foreign agent. What, so that is, that's an absolutely ridiculous hysterically, if it wasn't so sad, funny charge on Michael Flynn. But for those that are conducting business like Hunter Biden for foreign governments and lobbying our government for benefits for foreign governments and foreign businesses that are run by governments, i.e. CEFC, which is a which is a Chinese uh, energy firm, when you and everything that comes out of China, I don't care whether it's CEFC or whether it's McDonald's, it is run by the PLA and the the CCP. So there is no delineation between Chinese businesses. So when you are lobbying for Chinese businesses, you are lobbying for the People's Liberation Army out of China. But it wouldn't even matter. Even if it was lobbying for, you know, China Electric Car Company, China Electric Car Company, then if you're doing that, it doesn't matter. You have to register as a foreign agent. Barbara Boxer was, Aaron sending me this, Barbara Boxer was a registered foreign agent. Hey, I got it. For Chinese, <laughs> oh my word. Yeah. For a Chinese surveillance company that was actually targeting, targeting the Uyghur Muslims, that they're doing mass experimentations and mass rapes and mass dissections on right now. That, yeah. they're, that they're doing in their concentration camps. Barbara Boxer actually labored on behalf of the intel company that collects those people. And puts them on chains. I mean, puts them on trains with blindfolds on and zip ties, their arms zip tied behind their back. That's just Democratic Party for you. So now we all already knew that Hunter Biden was an unlawful foreign agent. We know that he's a tax cheat. We know that that he is, you know, obviously a drug user. We know that he's in violation of federal gun laws. Uh, probably a pedophile, according to his own uh, his uh, laptop, which now, of course, the feds had to testify under oath was his. Always was his, always will be his when you have people like Dan Goldman calling it a Russian plot. To this day, to this day, Dan Goldman, congressman out of New York, calls it a Russian plot. To this day, because you never know what Rudy Giuliani did. Even though the FBI and the DOJ testified under oath prior to Goldman's testimony that it was, in fact, Hunter Biden's. So now we know that they've known forever, including Dan Goldman, that Hunter Biden was actually an unregistered foreign agent. We, and they, they've known it for a long time. Now that Biden isn't running for president, he's allowing his state department to release this information. Just a little bit of maybe deep in the weeds thing. It might be Biden versus Biden. It might be Hunter versus Joe. Mm. Because Hunter has kind of held Joe hostage about, you better get me a deal or I'm going to testify. 
So maybe Joe's sending back, you might not want to hold that over my head because I can release everything on you. It could be Biden. For, I mean, I, I'm not predicting this, but you could actually see Hunter Biden turn state's evidence because his dad has everything on him and he has everything on his dad. It's just a matter of who wants to, who wants to sell out the other one for their own personal benefit. So New York Times as Hunter. Now, this is what the New York Times was writing. This is what they were writing a couple of months ago. As Hunter Biden's trial nears, President Biden pulls him close. Isn't that close? And that's just, I mean, right now, I'll suddenly <laughs> I have this warmth in my chest. Mm. President Biden has weathered years of scandals. Pres- Here, I'll read it in my, my feminine voice. President Biden <laughs> has weathered years of scandals surrounding his son. People close to both men say the president has refused to treat him as a political liability. So that's what the that's what the New York Times was writing a few months ago. Now the State Department, the State Department, Anthony Blinken is now releasing information to the New York Times about Hunter. Go to the next for me, Ness. So here's the next article. This is this is more of today's article or yesterday's article. Hunter Biden sought State Department help for 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 a Ukrainian company. By the way, it's not just Ukrainian; it's also Romanian, and we'll get into all this. For a Ukrainian company, after which, oh, by the way, 705 people that are on right now, we already know. Yeah. We already covered this uh, two years ago. So it's, it's amazing. The New York Times think they have a breaking story. They really don't because they know it, but they're going to pretend because they're Goebbels Media, the, prop, the media propaganda media. So Hunter, Hunter Biden sought State Department help for, for a Ukrainian company. No kidding. We've already known that for years. After President Biden dropped his re-election bid, his administration released records showing that while he was vice president, his son solicited U.S. government assistance. All be notes, not unbeknownst, all be notes, all known by Joe Biden that this was occurring. Mm-hmm. All the while, Joe Biden knew that his son was an unregistered foreign agent, which, by the way, is a felonious crime. Just so everybody knows. 